My wife was in my office the other day and uh, asked me, well, how many clocks have you got running in here? And I said, well, I'm not sure. So I thought maybe I would just uh, find out. So uh, join me on a little tour of my office and we'll see how many clocks are actually running. Okay, let's start uh, immediately to my right. So on the floor, I have an E. Ingraham time and strike clock. And this one was picked up at a local auction. I've done nothing to it. It is running right now. This is a uh, Yoush Drop Octagon. Um, recently I did some a bushing of the uh, of the barrel. It's a time only, so there's only one spring barrel. And I bushed that. Having s mm, limited success. Uh, next I have a Waterbury a schoolhouse clock. That was uh, my grandfather's clock many, many years ago as a young kid. 60 odd years ago. I remember seeing this clock in his house. I always wondered where it was and managed to uh, find it last year, 2018. Next is a Sessions Beveled, number two, uh, Time and Strike. First real big success with um, clock repair, many bushings, has been running for about three years now. Next is a Smith, uh, Smith's Enfield clock. Natural clock, and uh, eh, the strike size is a little sticky on this. And I put a new suspension spring, but it's still I notice it's still running a little fast. We have a Arthur Paganoff fan top up here. This one was professionally serviced about four to five years ago. Stopped about a two years ago, and it was only in the last six months that I managed to get it going again because I discovered couple of small problems that I addressed. Next is Ian Welch. Uh, time is straight clock. The dial is not on this clock as I am just in the process of regulating it. This was, um, I bought this clock and say, uh, the seller said the strike, you know the strike side not, not working. So okay, I'll buy it anyway and I did and only recently got the strike side to work by installing uh, a couple of helper springs. Next is uh, a Sessions Grand Assortment. This is not actually my clock, this is my sister's clock, but and it's been serviced completely, disassembled, cleaned. The only issue is there's no regulating nut, so uh, right now it's a little fast. And back here is a, uh, there are three 30 hour clocks. This is a George H. Clark. One beside it is a Chauncey Jerome. And, uh, and then uh, this one is a Sperian Shaw. As I said, they're all 30 hour clocks. And then we have uh, this clock here. And very contrasty, so hard to see. Uh, this is an Ansonia Drop Extra, uh, a true barn fine clock. And I think that kind of wraps it up. So there are a total of 12 clocks running in this, in this office. And how do they sound? Well, surprisingly, uh, I don't hear them all that much. I, I guess I'm so used to the sound, I've blocked it out more or less. But um, now also I would say that I enjoy the sound of all these clocks running. So, anyway, that uh, represents a very small part of my collection, but uh, clocks that uh, right now exist only in this, uh, in this small office. Okay, thank you for watching.